In this video, we're going to look at how to retopologize using the TopoBuild tool inside Houdini. Let's take a closer look at the mesh. The surface topology is typical to that of scan data. And if we take a look at our nodes, I have the imported scan mesh object and a transform node to correct the scale and position. All right, let's go back up to object level. Now go to the model tab and click on topo build. Select the scan mesh and hit the enter key. Houdini has created a new object independent of the original imported mesh, which is templated and appended it with the topo build node to it. Okay, let's go back up to object level to see what our scene looks like. And there's the new object node that Houdini made for us with underscore retopo appended to it, so we can turn off visibility on the source mesh. And let's go back inside to do our retopo. Since it is not unusual to change parameters and save them as a new default, we have to first make sure that both display and template model geometry are both set to draw hidden line ghost. Hit the D key to access the display options window. Alternatively, you can just choose hidden line ghost from the drop down list here. Hit the D key to close the window. Okay, let's go in and make some quads. Just make sure that you have topo build selected or you may need to hit the enter key to reactivate the tool. And let's draw out some quads. Middle mouse button click to finish. Now we can put down guide points that we can snap build geometry to. And now left mouse button click on the edge to pull out a face and move it close to the points until you see the points highlight. That highlight indicates a snap, or in this case, geometry created at the point. You can put down guide points only and build your surface this way. After that, you can just tweak your geometry by either moving points, edges, or faces. Additionally, when you pull out a face from an edge, you can hold down Ctrl and left mouse button click and drag to rotate, or Shift and left mouse button click and drag to scale the face. And we can just close the gap by pulling out the edges and popping the faces on the points. And put some more guide points down. By the way, if you have a bunch of floating points you want to remove for whatever reason, just hit Shift and Delete to clear them. Undo to bring them back. And we'll just left mouse button click and drag to pull out the faces. We're just going to build up this eye area here. So with the clicking on an edge to pull out a face, you're not limited to one edge only. You can pull out multiple edges by holding down Shift and A to select partial edge loop, for example. You can also click and drag a point to snap and fuse it to another and have the surrounding edges connected together. If you need to remove some parts of the new geometry, simply delete the point, edge, or face and continue building on top of it. There are tips for keyboard and mouse combinations for various functions and topo build in the helpline here. Okay, let's go back up to object level. And if you're wondering about the green color, it's just the default visualizer color to differentiate it as a topo build mesh. You can simply turn off visibility on it in the visualizer panel. And we can select the mesh and toggle subdivision display on it with the plus or minus keys. Just going to change the draw to smooth shaded. And let me Martha Stewart a mesh I made earlier. And that's the topo build tool for retopologizing geometry inside Houdini.